After a revamped map and new challenge system were introduced last year, Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 has now launched. With so much uncertainty surrounding details about the season, and with the hints dropped from Fortnite's Twitter being, well, unhelpful to say the least, we dove into everything we could as soon as Season 2 went live, and we found the biggest changes so far. The Agency is an all-new faction that seems to be the first step in a much longer endgame plan for Epic Games. The spy group consists of several agents that players can unlock through Fortnite's Battle Pass, and although these types of seasonal rewards aren't new, the specific skins, gliders, banners, and backstory of these agents certainly are. It seems to be a mix of both characters we've grown familiar with in the past, like Lynx and Peely, as well as agents we've never seen before in any form, providing an interesting group of characters all around. Henchmen are a new addition that surround various parts of the new areas on the map. The Rig, the Grotto, the Shark, the Yacht, and the Agency are all official named locations rather than the smaller landmarks. The rest of the map will look familiar to players, but these additions change the overall look and aesthetic of the map to fit a scene one might expect in a spy movie. Map changes are a huge thing that fans look forward to with every update, and this time around you might think that there aren't a large number of new areas or a total overhaul due to the terrain not changing significantly. But in addition to the new locations are these hilarious areas that all seem to work in tandem to fit the season's spy theme. Telephone booths let you enter and emerge with Fortnite-themed costumes and disguises, and allow you to infiltrate areas that are always guarded by enemies. Henchmen now guard specific hideouts and fortresses throughout the map and can be defeated or even downed but kept alive in order to use them to pass by ID scanners in these areas. The addition of these enemies really do work for the aesthetic of the season, as well as serving as a nice addition to the weekly challenge lists. To add on to the fortresses that the henchmen are guarding, there are completely new sources of loot in the form of locked crates and secret vaults. To gain access to the vaults, you need to find a henchman boss in any guarded location. Defeating a boss will give you a keycard that will grant access to the secure vaults. There are also the locked crates that require an ID scan to bypass their security protocols. Two main ways have been discovered already for players to unlock these crates. Wearing any disguise will let you pass an ID scan, or you can physically pick up a downed henchman and have them scanned. Although, you will always definitely want to be mindful of other Battle Royale players who might eagerly be looking for their share of hidden loot as well. One of the biggest surprises to kick off the current season is the addition of Deadpool. The Merc with a Mouth has been revealed in the Battle Pass trailer to be a secret skin, although if you're hoping to obtain the Deadpool skin soon, it seems like you'll have to wait for a bit until something unlocks in the season, because it all seems time-gated right now. However, the new hub area has a secret section that sharp-eyed players will notice, and if you follow the path, you'll see a ravaged bathroom with the Avengers symbol and even a tongue-in-cheek letter from Deadpool to the Epic Games team. A secret set of Deadpool challenges can also be found here as you log into an old computer using Deadpool's username and password. Shadow and Ghost skins are a completely new concept in Season 2 since the decision on which cosmetic you go for has lasting consequences. Each agent has a set of mission challenges. For instance, the opening week's set of challenges involve the agent Brutus, and upon completing his challenges, there's a Shadow or Ghost secret mission that you can take part in, allowing you to choose which style you want your agent to have. The decision is permanent, however, and it's not exactly clear just why Fortnite is preventing players from having both types of cosmetics, instead having to decide on what feels like a good versus evil faction. This is unprecedented for Fortnite and one of the biggest changes that seems like it'll only develop more as the season goes on. This season is off to a fast start as it shakes off the sluggish extended tenure of Season 1, and these six changes are just the tip of the iceberg, as more agents will be unlocked over the course of the next few weeks and the trajectory of this season's story becomes more clear. If you're excited for Season 2, let us know why in the comments below, and be sure to check with us every Thursday as we reveal all the guides and gameplay playthroughs to help solve even the most difficult challenges in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2.